Hey guys, and welcome back to the ring. When we last left off, I think we're about to go fight the final boss. We took care of Roger. Oh, Roger. I can't remember the main guy's name. Uh, now, out here, from what I can remember, this place is absolutely jam-packed full of monkeys. Purple monkeys. Like, I... Why? Oh, why am I asking these questions? Why are there purple monkeys? Just why? All right, let's get out of here. So we, oh God, hello. I didn't even expect to see her there or him there, I should say. The door is broken. Of bloody course it is. Why wouldn't the door be broken? Can we shoot this thing, please? Thank you. Literally jammed the gun under his chin and blew the motherfucker away. At least that's how it happened in my head, anyway. Um, okay. So there's lots of stiffs here. Wait a minute. How do we go upstairs? Have I forgotten how we get upstairs? Probably. Uh, that's down. All ah, right, yeah, we need to go. Oh, we need to. We need to go back the way we came. No, wait, that doesn't make sense. Does it? Uh. Shit, wait a minute. How do we go upstairs? Ah. <sighs> Yeah, that's where we need to get to. We need to get to the roof. Guessing we need to find... That ladder? Ah, right, 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 okay. Wait a minute. That ladder brought us here. So, yeah, here. There's a ladder beyond the door. Go downstairs. Um, wait a minute. You know what? Fuck this. Uh, right. Oh. Go to F2, now go, right. Okay, so literally all the all, all my guide says is how, right, we've apparently missed uh, Sadako's silver ring. Which, when we get kicked out of the uh, Sadako room, after seeing her float off, apparently we can go back into that room and pick up her ring. But then it says, if someone knows how we use it in the game, let me know. So, I, I don't know. Anyway, Shizu asks you to kill her. Go to F2 and save. Now climb to the roof by using the stairs. Collect all the items. Then enter the last area. That's all it says on the guide. Uh, are we talking about those stairs? Or... I mean, we can't use these stairs. F1. Alright, that's F2. So you can hear, like, Sadako's voice, like, droning. Oh. Didn't it just say the door was broken? Pretty sure it just said the door was broken. What do I know, I guess? Okay. Ooh, there's a lot of health here. As I guess you would expect. Ooh, and lots of hands. Still just the handgun, though. 
I mean, they're giving us lots of bullets. Like, lots of bullets. How many is lots? We've got 146. Right, so we've got like... 15 magazines, basically. Is that enough? It's gonna have to be enough. Well, this is definitely a boss area if I've ever seen one. I don't think what you do, what humans are doing is correct, but she doesn't have the right to annihilate humanity either. Oof. No, just murder the ones that fucked you up. She grew up without knowing love. I just don't want to see her struggling like this anymore. So how does killing her in a virtual world put her down? I sound selfish, but but she's suffering in her own way. Sadako suffers too? At least she kind of looks Asian there. Oh, I guess the little kid does just. Please let her rest in peace. Well, we're going to let her rest in pieces. We're going to release her soul. Let her rest. All right. Well, let's go. I mean, she's enjoying the view. Let her rest. It's just people killing each other. <laughs> yeah, sure. Whatever whatever you want, game. Just go with that. Oh god, hello. Does that is that actually hurting her? Why? Okay, we're shooting her in the crot. Okay. She turns into crows. Okay. So now do we have to kill the crows? I guess. I guess that makes sense. Apart from the fact that it doesn't make any sense at all. The crows referenced in the film? Pretty sure they weren't. At least not... How do you hit them? I don't think... Okay, got one. So even when the laser sight is on them, it doesn't hit them. Oh man, this is some, this is some A-grade ass. Jesus. I mean, I guess I could run away from this thing. But then it's just going to bite me in the face. Actually, is there any stuff out here? Maybe there is. No. No. There's literally nothing out here at all. Just a crow chasing us. I guess we can't get far enough away from the crow. Ooh, nice. Um, okay. Reload. Yeah, we don't want to delete the gun. Not now. Oh. Is that it? Nope, she's back. There's got to be more than, more to it than this, surely. Surely. No way. This is the end boss? Nah, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. There's something else going on here for sure. Probably isn't her final form. Actually, does the guide even mention this? I don't know. It just says go to the final area. Uh, right, that's it. At least they all were significantly easier to shoot that time. Oh, what would happen if we deleted our gun here? Would that be bad? I'm guessing that would be bad. Oh, she's back again. Hang on. Oh, God, she uses her hair to attack us. Also, isn't she meant to have black hair? She looks like a redhead in this game, which is fine. It's just, you know... Not really friendly to the film, is it? Oh, she actually gets knocked back as well. <laughs> nah, I, nah, I'm not, I'm not, 
I'm not fucking buying what you're selling. Nah, there's more to this than this, surely. I mean, you know, seriously. Right, okay, she's birds again. Birds are seemingly getting tougher to kill. Which I guess is fine. Dude, I'm trying to reload my gun. But the birds are actually doing more damage to us than she did. Ah, uh, right. Reload. Should have just brought a load of, like, seeds up here. Also, this... What's weird is this evil, evil track that's playing, which is obviously like the boss theme. This was playing like whenever we got to this floor, just out, uh, even though we couldn't go through that door because it said it was broken or is locked or something. Well, I can't go through here for reasons because we heard that creepy kind of breathing sound effect. I didn't realize that was actually part of the end boss theme. Oh, she's back again. Oh. No way. No. That can't be. Don't you think human beings deserve to survive after this? To me, to us, the answer is no. But it could not be. Save the world, save humanity. They don't care about anything other than themselves. Don't you see? I care. Sounds like the truth. <laughs> I'm dying. But the next will come. One after another. The next what? Work <gasps> every fight to see each other until everybody's gone. The vaccine announced to cure the disease has been put into full mass production. However, some citizens desperate for the vaccine are not waiting for their ration and have started rioting. A large number of fatalities and injured due to such riots have been reported all over the country. Killing until everybody's gone. Uh So I always thought that Sudoku was some mythical evil ghost thing. I didn't realize she was actually a living, breathing woman kind of that could talk or that you could talk to. That she sounds like a normal person. Even though her mother sounds like, you know, her mother has a very heavy like Japanese accent, but she didn't. Oh, man, I don't know about that. I mean, we saved the world, so there's that. I can't find any information on multiple endings or anything like that, so I'm going to guess that there isn't any. Uh, but I can say, does this game hold up? Should you play it? Hell no. This game was utter and complete dog shit. I mean, if I was forced to either eat shit, play this, or play um, Clock Tower 2 again, technically probably Clock Tower 3, depending on where you're from, I would seriously consider eating the shit. But if I had to pick and someone took the shit choice away, I would choose this. But it would be pretty close. You know. This is by far, so far, 
the worst Dreamcast game I've ever played. By a mile. This is the worst, the second worst horror game that I've ever played. I cannot believe this was printed onto a disc. I mean, <sighs> Sega obviously, you know, gave these guys a development kit somehow. I'd like to know how many copies of this utter tosh were actually sold. Can you imagine having this game back in the day? Like, Carrier wasn't brilliant, but Carrier was a game. That's this didn't even feel like a video game. It, it almost just felt like one of those point-and-click adventures There was no gameplay to this This basically felt a test player Jesus guys were you a fucking sleep at the wheel? But then whoever listens to the testers right can't blame them you know, I think the sad thing is, the people that developed this probably thought, Oh shit guys, we're going to be the next Resident Evil. You know, we're cooking up some hot shit here. People are going to eat this up. Oh dear, oh dear. I need coffee for this. I mean, what more can you say about this? Yeah, there's some decent um, survival horror games on, on the Dreamcast, you know. Uh, I would say that Carrier, although being fairly mediocre, isn't a bad game. And it is worth a go if you're hardcore into your survival horror games. Absolutely recommend um, Carrier. Yeah, it is what it is, but, you know, it's not bad. And then you have, like, the masterpiece, which is Resident Evil Code Veronica, which started on the Dreamcast. And then you've got Evil Dead, which uh, I haven't played it, but I've heard... Well, I've played like the first half hour. Uh, I've heard that, you know, it's not fantastic. Oh, there's nothing. It just says end afterwards. Fuck you too, game. Um, No grade, no score, nothing. All right. Well, I'm, I'm actually quite happy with that, to be honest. So, um... Yeah, so, so you've got Evil Dead, which is a, you know, not a bad game. I've heard some people really enjoyed it. It's not up there with Resident Evil, but it's a good game. Uh, you, if, especially if you like Evil Dead, there is some enjoyment to be had with it. Um, then we also have Alone in the Dark, which is a good game. Uh, I played it, we rented it when I was a kid. I think we rented it on the PlayStation, Alone in the Dark New Nightmare. I think that's what it's called. Uh, which will be coming up, by the way. Um, I know you can play as a man with a gun or a woman with a flashlight. Yeah, guess who we picked. And yeah, that, that actually seemed pretty good. So that's a solid game as well. And then you've got this guttural slurry. <sighs> they probably charged full price for this. Can you imagine? Can you even imagine paying, like, I don't know, what were games back then? £40, I think. Some, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, because I remember when the PS, I think it was on the PS3 and all that lot came out, games went up to forty four ninety nine. They stayed there for ages. And I remember, then the games went up to 50 didn't they? And now they're up to like 55 Well, that's not true. Games these days start at 55 for the base unfinished product. And then obviously you pay more to get the um, the full version with all the DLC and shit. But yeah, uh, that was the ring, guys. Terror's Realm. It was terrifying. It absolutely was terrifying. I've just noticed, if you look at the R, it kind of looks like a cartoony skull on Realm. I'm glad I didn't put this through my Dreamcast. I'm glad this went through my PC, which has much more testicular fortitude than my aging Dreamcast has. But anyway, I I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of that. We had a we had a moment together. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and as always, till next time.